So yeah, these things are pretty nice. The cat likes them. I got these dig work boots. All right, let's go ahead and open this thing up and take a look at them. They come in these nice bags here, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, so they don't have any laces on them. They're just slip-on boots. They got a, a nice chain on here for the label and stuff. So it's got the label on there. I got the size 12. But yeah, it's nice that they keep them in these uh, bags here. They're nice and stretchy here on the sides. And then they got the pull-up straps there. And then it says on the on the back here, there's writing in here. It says that it's uh, slip resistant, oil resistant, acid resistant. And then it's got a PU and a TPU outsole. So yeah, these are also puncture proof, so that's pretty cool. It's got the logo down there. All right, let's go ahead and try these things on. You can wear these barefoot or with socks. It's got a nice strap back here that you can grab onto. I personally found they're a little more comfortable with socks. I got a hole in my sock here, but that's okay because it's Sunday. I wouldn't say that these are going to church boots, but uh, you could wear them to church if you wanted to. Yeah, they slip on pretty good. Uh, like I said, I think they're a little more comfortable with socks. And they slip off really easy too. But yeah, if you just wanted to keep these boots around the house and then just put them on real quick so you could go outside, there's nothing wrong with wearing them without the socks. And then you just grab that strap back there and then you can just pull them right on. So yeah, you can see they're, they're pretty nice. You can put your pants down there over them. So just make sure you got enough room here for your jeans. All right, let's go ahead and go outside and do some work. Yeah, well, try not to get them too scratched up, but sometimes you need to kick stuff around and you want to make sure the boots can hold up to that. So they're going to get a little dirty and a little scuffed up, but that's what work boots are for. Yeah, these are pretty comfortable. The only part that's a little bit tough is when you bend them down like this, they kind of uh, bite into you a little bit here, but it's not too bad. They say it takes a little bit of time for this leather to soften up here. <laughs> all right, I got all this uh, debris cleaned up, all these tree branches and stuff. So that was a pretty good chore to break my boots in. I'd say that these boots are pretty comfortable just straight out of the box. But if you want to break them in, a nice way to do it is to just do some light yard work like this. Just kind of walking around the yard, moving the wheelbarrow around, and that'll give you a real good chance to break them in. But really the thing you're going to have to do to break them in is you got to get down on your hands and knees and you got to get this part softened up. And the only way that's going to happen is if you're down here doing some work. That I need to go around here and build a little bit of a ledge in here so that I can put some concrete in here to hold this together. So that'll be a lot of being down on my hands and knees and that'll break in the boots even better. So yeah, that'll be a good project around the house that I can do to break these boots in. But yeah, so far these things are pretty nice. Yeah, one of the nice things about these boots is they're easy to take off. So when you're done working, you can just take them off just like that and leave them out on your back porch and then you don't have to walk around in the house and track any mud or dirt inside. So yeah, these things are pretty nice. The cat likes them.